Hello everybody, it's George from Ireland, so welcome back to the channel. Um, anyway, in this video I'm commenting about Kate Middleton, Her Royal Highness the Princess of Wales, who's not been seen in public for several weeks. Well, what's wrong? Now, Buckingham Palace vouchsafed that um, she'd had an abdominal operation. We're not told what that is. There's much uh, speculation that it's that it's a hysterectomy, but that's that's sheer conjecture. Uh, some are surmised, is it some sort of um, uh, other ap appendectomy, or is it like, um, is it some cancerous growth being removed? We may never know. Um, but uh, then when it came to, to Mother's Day, uh, an image was released by Kensington Palace. That's where she and her husband, the Prince of Wales, reside. And it's the first image released of, of her since January this year. Um, and it showed her posing with his, her, her children. And they're all smiling or laughing raucously. So what a joyous family image. The photo is supposedly taken by Paterfamilias William. And so there she's flanked by her younger son, George, her daughter, Louise. Um, sorry, her younger son, Louis. What on earth is the little one's name? Louise is the daughter. George is the elder one. The little, little son, I can't even remember what his name is. Um, the elder son is behind her. And it all seemed to be... What am I talking about? Charlotte. Yeah, Louis is the little boy. That's it. Um, but uh, some people who are very uh, sharp-eyed, they noticed an error, sort of a continuity error, um, around her daughter's sleeve. There was something that hadn't been cut out, some cut and paste. Um, and, and the comedian Frankie Boyle initially said he spotted this. Um, there was about Sarah Rose Hanbury. You're talking about the Marchioness of Chumley. Yeah, well, for about six years, these rumours have persisted, partly in the Kremlin back media, the Duran, for which I used to write. I have no idea as to the veracity of such claims. Um, so, although um, it wouldn't surprise me, you know, I don't have any evidentiary basis for that. There's obviously a lot of nonsense published about them because they never sued for libel. They shouldn't have engaged the media interest at all, uh, at all. Very little to gain. Being observed indirectly in public would have been enough. Yeah, I think so. This is an unforced error. And ironically, it comes from her, who to this moment hadn't slipped up in all her years in the public eye, over 20 years of involvement with um, Prince William, because um, he, now he went up to, well, he left school in 2000, went to university in 2001, is that right? And she met him there. She's a year older than him. Remember, he's born 82, she's born in 81. Um, and then she eschewed um, the media, obviously followed around, felt harassed. But she's a volunteer member of the House of Windsor. You know, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. She didn't have to start dating a prince. She's not that stupid. She knew that, of course, the paparazzi were going to follow her around, and she didn't mind it. What can we tell from her behavior? What what motivates her? The most important question about anyone, anyone, what makes her tick is being admired for her appearance. She's never got a hair out of place. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I don't know why they suppressed that one of her driving with her mother. Um, anyway, she was adored for a long time, a woman uh, who sort of is a mental blank space, so far as we can tell, um, doesn't have any opinions on anything to the best of anyone's knowledge. That's actually uh, advantageous if she's completely unopinionated, rather than Meghan Markle, who just can't put a sock in it and is always mouthing off her vile views on contentious subjects. So, you know, she briefly broke up with Prince William, that he said he couldn't put her through all this, blah, 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 for about a year. Then the relationship was back on, famously announced their engagement in, in 2010, and then they got married in Westminster Abbey in 2011, and the British public took her to their hearts. And it's all been plain sailing since then. And after um, the late uh, the late Queen, uh, Meg, not Meghan Markle, Kate Middleton was consistently the most popular member of the British royal family. The Kate effect, she was such a boon to fashion and all the rest of it. Um, now, she was always slender, but I have heard people observing she seems to be unhealthily thin in recent days. Bear in mind, you know, she is um, 42 and the mother of three. Um, so she must be under immense pressure. I suppose she's got perfectionist tendencies, which is why her appearance is always flawless. OK, not just in the hair, makeup, clothes, accessorizing, all the rest of it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, what people say that they've been mere celebrities of royalty for a long time. And obviously, you go back to the 18th century, they were the only celebrities because, yes, there were actors and actresses. But, uh, you know, as there was no broadcast media, you had to see them in person to know who they were. Um, and they didn't process around the country so much. Their images weren't always uh, publicized. 
Uh, you can't see the role of a character in the generation is something in me. Okay. Um, goodness. Well, obviously, there better be modern royals. Uh, so she's maybe quite seriously ill to have not been seen in public for over two months now. She's not that old. Is, is stress or depression getting to her? So the, the royal family, they wouldn't want to alarm us unnecessarily. So the situation is probably graver than we're led to believe. Um, uh, because if they, they could cover it up, could be completely silent, uh, just disappear for about three days, they would do it. They're really telling us because it's just unavoidable. The, the rumors might leak out. People might imagine the situation's even worse than it really was. So anyway, some photoshopping. But you think surely her PR team would have done this. Did they make a screw up that basic? Well, well just possibly they did. You know, I tend with the royal family, I tend to go up with the, 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 the um, cock up rather than the conspiracy um, theory of things. So they had to admit that was it. And then um, the press associations got various guidelines for the amount of touching up a photo they considered to be permissible. Um, but uh, they say, well, this is just beyond the de minimis range. So, so they had to pull this one. You can see the various things wrong with the, the zip on um, her, uh, is it her jacket? And the, the her daughter's knee is sort of bent out of shape. That's just impossible. Um, anyway, uh, the position of the hand when she's putting her hand around people. So she's apologized. She said, like many written photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express her apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared caused. I hope everyone's celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. So that, that was her on Mother's Day, supposedly a model mother. And she's very different from me again, Markle, um, because these two women, though, they're born in the same year. They married brothers. You know, they both became princesses. They are remarkably dissimilar. Um, so obviously partly in nationality, partly in their previous occupation. Um, uh, yeah, just uh, attitudinally different. Um, so uh, people say that you know, Kate Middleton was born for this role, has a quiet dignity, is virtuous, is reserved. That reticent is singularly opposite and understands that instinctively. The real genius was Henry VIII. I wonder why. So, yeah, it was unnecessary. The trouble is it sets tongue, tongues wagging. People are speculating. Uh, is it because her husband is tupping that marchioness or is she um, uh, fatally ill or something like that? So it's it's not good. So they didn't have to release any image, as they hadn't released one for two months of the most photographed woman on earth. They might have been a bit more careful about putting this one out. Um, so was she with the children in that pose on that day at all? How badly Photoshop did it have to be to get at this wrong? Um, so because maybe she's actually bed bound or something and they published a completely um, false image to try and uh, provide us with reassurance. But unfortunately that's boomerang spectacularly and made it, made it much worse for her. But uh, yeah, anyway, I don't think she's terribly unpopular as a result of it. But she will one day come back and people say she will reign with queen as queen and um, comport herself with just unexampled composure that would profit others to study. So what do you think about uh, Meghan Markle? Um, I think she's loathsome, whereas Kate Middleton, I think she's bland, but that's actually advantageous in her role. What do you think about um, uh, Kate Middleton? What are your theories? Have you got any more rumors? I'd like to hear answers on a postcard. Thank you for watching my channel. Make sure you subscribe on Patreon. Toodle pip, everyone.